guys, so today's video is going to be all about my hair. I've been getting a lot of questions lately because I did go from brown to blonde hair fairly, well not recently actually, it's been about a year now since I've been bleaching it and highlighting it and stuff, um, but a lot of you guys have been going back and watching older videos of mine where I have very dark hair. This video is going to be my current hair care routine and then also I have a pretty large hair care collection. I have a lot of products that I love that if I'm out of something I'm currently using, I'll you know go back to old favorites. So not only is this gonna be my current hair care routine, I'm also going to show you just a lot of my favorite products in general that I've used over the years and that I really love still. I don't answer any of your questions about my hair in this video, because I'll do like the frequently asked questions at the very end of this video, because I get so many questions about my hair. If I don't answer though, like one of the questions that you've asked me or that you've had about my hair, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to reply to any questions you have about my hair. Okay, so my current hair care routine consists of four products, which I actually showed these when I first purchased them, and I have been loving them. I probably purchased them maybe, I don't know, three months ago or something, but I have two shampoos that I use. The Moroccan Oil Shampoo Moisture Repair. There's only two different shampoos that the Moroccan Oil brand makes, and I use the Moisture Repair. The other one they make is a volumizing shampoo, so I thought this would be a good option for my hair because I bleach it. What I've been doing or using more is the Paul Mitchell Platinum Blonde Shampoo and it's a purple shampoo. You can kind of see the color right there. Um, it's a purple shampoo and it just makes sure that your blonde is not turning brassy or dull and it just brightens up the blonde because um, I don't have like a super platinum blonde hair. Well, I guess a little bit. I mean, it, it kind of depends on the lighting how my hair looks. Sometimes it looks really brown and sometimes it looks platinum blonde, but alternating the two. Um, and only using this a couple times a week, but then I liked this so much and it makes my hair so soft, it doesn't smell as good as the other one though. I started using this every single day. Those are the two shampoos that I currently use and I this is my second one and it's almost gone, I don't know if you can tell. So I'm gonna rep be repurchasing a third one of these. Um, someone actually recommended a L'Oreal version not instead of the Paul Mitchell, so I might, I might switch it up, but I really like this one. Then I use two conditioners. One is well, one is a conditioner and one is a heavy mask. And I use the Moisture Repair Conditioner by Moroccan Oil Brand. So they go together. They're both the Moisture Repair. And this is almost gone. I have to go purchase another one of these. But I purchased these like middle size ones. There were smaller ones and then there was like the large liter size. I purchased these because I didn't know if I was going to like them. So this is almost still full. This is completely empty pretty much. I actually had to put water in it today and like shake it up so I could get conditioner on my hair today. Um, so I'm actually going to go and purchase the really large size of this conditioner because it's awesome. It doesn't weigh down my hair. It's for chemically damaged hair. Sulfate and paraben free. It has argan oil and keratin in it. Rich in fatty acids and proteins. Restored restores damaged hair and it truly does like without this I think my hair would probably be like a straw I love 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 this conditioner it's definitely like the standout out of the four items that I use this is my favorite thing I think if I switched out shampoos and you know went to different brands I would always still want to use this conditioner and I have this little Moroccan oil mask that I only use once a week because it's so full of keratin and protein and if you overuse those kind of things on your hair your hair can actually become brittle so you kind of do the opposite effect of what you're trying to do but this is just the Moroccan oil restorative hair mask and I'm almost out of it but I use it about once a week sometimes twice a week if I feel like my hair is like just feeling really dry um, but I love this so those are the four main products that I use every single day like when I'm in the shower so that's pretty much my hair care routine but and then when I get out of the shower what I use is the Moroccan oil light so there's two versions of this I use the light because my hairstylist told me that the other version, the non-light version, can actually, the oil can sometimes get absorbed by blonde hair and turn it like a different color. So I use the light version. I actually use three to four pumps when my hair is wet, and I know that seems crazy, but I've had this for a pretty long time, and it's about halfway used. Um, but I use three to four pumps, which most people would probably say use like a half pump to a full pump, but it just absorbs it like insane. It never leaves your hair greasy. Even if I use some when my hair is dry after I've already used the three to four pumps when it's wet, it still doesn't look greasy. It's the kind of oil that just somehow like miracus miraculously, I can't talk, gets absorbed into your hair and you never get that oily look, which is awesome. Do not use it, which I use it every single day, but if I didn't use it, my hair would look like a crispy fried mess. But when I use that, it dries like silky hair. And I if I let it air dry, it looks so healthy. It's amazing. So if you have frizzy or dry hair or if you've overprocessed your hair in any way, coloring, you know, heat treat heat heat treatments, heat styling, this is a miracle product. I know it's kind of expensive, but I promise you get what you pay for with this product. I have a couple other oils that I want to talk to you guys about in this video, but this is by far the best one that I've ever used. And then my current favorite hairspray, which is 
almost gone, I need to get another one, is again, Moroccan oil. That's why I wanted to show you my other favorite products because I, I'm using all Moroccan oil brands right now and it might be out of some people's price range or maybe you don't have access to it, but I love this hairspray. This is the strong hold finish. There's a medium hold I think too as well, but this one is not super strong. So if you're gonna get one or the other, I'd recommend the strong hold just because it's the strong one and it's not that strong. So it's amazing, it smells great, it holds my curls all day long. I seriously love this hairspray. So this is like the best hairspray I think I've ever used. Well, I have two other really good favorites, but I think this is my favorite. I'm just gonna go right into other favorite hairsprays since I was just talking about the Moroccan oil hairspray. My other two favorite hairsprays are the Healthy Sexy Hair by the Sexy Hair brand, the Soy Touchable. This is an amazing hairspray. It smells really good. They all smell good. Um, it's a really good lightweight hairspray. I wouldn't say it's like a super strong hold, but it's a really good hairspray. It's definitely better than a lot of other brands and formulas that I've tried, and it's good for your hair. And if you're someone who needs super strong hold, but you don't want crunchy, flaky hair, this baby has been my all-time favorite, especially if you have like a virgin hair that doesn't hold curl, like if it's not damaged in any way, which is the best kind of hair to have, but unfortunately when you have super soft virgin hair that's like not been color treated, it doesn't hold curl and styles as well, this is like your answer to all your prayers, the answer to all your prayers. It's the Kenra. It's normally a silver can. This is just pink because I got it for like the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, but this is the number 25, the Super Strong Hold. And, and this is not joking around. When they say Super Strong Hold Finishing Hairspray, it's Super Strong Finishing Hairspray. Like your hair will not move. I'm not kidding you. But at the same time, it's not super crunchy. So whenever I do use this, which is pretty rarely because I've been using the other two more than this one, but this used to be the only hairspray I ever used. Um, but I will kind of like put my fingers through my hair a little bit after I use this because it is such a strong hold, but your hair still doesn't get crunchy. So it's an amazing hairspray. Kenra hairspray, amazing. So before I discovered the Moroccan oil um, oil treatment, I had been using two other ones. And this is one that I've been talking about on my channel since like day one, I think. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Treatment. I have talked about this in so many favorites videos and so many videos just in general when I talk about hair and stuff. It's an amazing hair oil. Again, I just would use this when my hair is wet. Don't want to spend, you know, the money on this. This one is uh, not super cheap, but a cheaper alternative. Cheaper, I'll, why can't I talk? A cheaper alternative. As you can tell, I love hair oils because they make your hair softer, less frizzy. It makes your hair shinier. It's their amazing heat protectant. So the other hair oil treatment that I love is the Macadamia Natural Oil Killing Oil Treatment. And this is, there's a light version that comes in like a spray, but I like this one a lot better. Um, and this is actually almost gone. If you can see in the glass there, probably not, but the oil's probably like down to here. I use this a lot. So I went from using this all the time to using this all the time to now using the Moroccan oil brand. This is like the official brand, but they both have like Moroccan oil in them. You have super frizzy hair. This is a combination of products that I came up with um, that worked so amazing for me. Um, and it was the Straight Sexy Hair, the Power Straight Straightening Balm, which is like a very thick, almost like gel, like a very, I guess, just thick gel. And then the fr the Silky Sexy Hair Frizz Eliminator Light for normal to fine hair. And this is like a oil. So this is a thick gel and this is oil and I would just put some of the gel in my hand and then a couple pumps of the Frizz Eliminator and put it throughout my whole entire hair when it was wet and then brush it out and then style it. And it worked amazingly and my hands are all oily now. On to my hair questions that I get all the time. I get the main question I get is, I want your hair color. What do I tell my stylist? That only about five visits to my hair stylist to get it this light. If you have black hair and you want to get blonde highlights, I would say go an all over light shade and then put highlights in it. So it's kind of like a double treatment, an all over color plus highlights. Because if you just do highlights, you're gonna have that super contrasting like sk skunk hair is what everyone calls it, and I don't like that look. It's just I'd rather have what I like to call like Victoria's Secret model hair, where their hair is just like flowy and fabulous and all the colors are very natural and pretty and that's kind of the look that I go for but I'm just blabbing now but what I did is we just use bleach um, and just did all over tons of highlights and then I would tell her I wanted like a caramel color and like a uh, a different color blonde color so that's all I asked is just you know a couple different colors and I kept it a little bit darker underneath before I get my length from I don't want to damage the underneath hair as much because then it can start to break off and you have to cut it shorter and shorter so that's why I have always kept it a little bit darker underneath to kind of save the quality of the hair also I've gotten questions about my haircut and my haircut is just honestly like long layers there is nothing special about this whatsoever you do want to go blonde 
make sure you can like afford to keep it up because what I used to do when I was in like high school and stuff, I'd go blonde, like I've been every color under the sun, but I'd go blonde and then like three months later when my roots were like really bad, I'd just go back to being brunette because I couldn't afford to go spend a hundred or however much dollars at the salon again. So if you want to go blonde, make sure you have enough money to like kind of keep it up. Don't go back and forth. I used to always go back and forth from blonde to brunette and my hair was so damaged. So unless you have like naturally pretty light hair, you can probably go, you know, three to four months between highlights, but since my hair is naturally pretty dark, I can't go that long. I have to go like every four to six weeks. So it is an expensive upkeep and also it's a little bit damaging. So you do have to buy more expensive products because I think with hair care products, I've noticed, I've tried every brand, drugstore, high end, I've noticed that really you do get what you pay for with hair products. You can get away with more cheaper things with makeup and stuff, but hair products, I find that you really do have to spend a little bit more if you don't want your hair to be super damaged looking and fried. And that's pretty much all I wanted to mention in this video, but if you have any other questions about my hair, I'm sure I missed a, like a whole bunch that you might have. Just let me know in the comments and I will answer them for you guys. If you have any questions about these products, also you can let me know. Um, but I will list every single product that I mentioned in the down bar and I will try and find links like to their websites if you're interested in that. Um, hope you have a great day. Check out my vlog channel. I just posted my non-beauty related, non-beauty related favorites. I need to come up with a better name than that. Um, I'll link my vlog channel down below, Miss Jen Vlogs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you liked the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.